Hello, I'm Rory. Welcome to another Drag Race Extra Lessons, where I look at RuPaul's Drag Race and I check the references. You better work, bitch! So today we're going to look at someone who's not been referenced once, but twice in the Snatch Game. It is... Carol Channing? Carol Channing! <gasps> Yay! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you! You'll remember that Pandora Box did Carol way back in season two. We deliver limes and lemons to all the people around in the neighborhood. And raspberries. And raspberries. And Bob the Drag Queen paid tribute in season eight. Yeah. I just wrote corn. Yeah, it's you know, a good there's no Jerry. <laughs> and it comes out the way you put it in, RuPaul. <laughs> Who was this Carol Channing? I do. My name is Carol. Yeah. Thank you. Born in 1921, Carol became a Broadway star at the end of the 1940s. Her first signature role was Lorelei in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. But the part went to Marilyn Monroe in the film version. Which is a bit of a kicker, but Marilyn never got to perform it with this icon. Carol then played the lead in Hello Dolly and was disappointed when Barbara Streisand got the role in the film. But Dolly is the role Carol is most associated with. In fact, she played the lead at least five times thousand times. We went way over 5,000 performances. And while Broadway was her home, she did have impact on film too, earning an Oscar nomination opposite Dame Julie Andrews in Thoroughly Modern Millie, where her character repeatedly says, Raspberry! Raspberry? Raspberry! And raspberry! <laughs> Those are the roles, but why do people love Carol Channing so much? Well, the woman was just pure light and joy. That distinct raspy baby doll voice, a tendency to go a little off the point in interviews. And she used to come out on the fire escape and she would say, where's my baby girl? And that was me she was calling. What are we talking about? Here? And her endless enthusiasm. She was the world's dotty, nutty, fun great aunt. While putting this together, I came across this clip from an Alice in Wonderland TV movie that I think sums up Carol's energy. Day of tomorrow, day of yesterday, but never ever jam to the Dreadfully confusing. She was married four times and had a son. And this is maybe my favourite story about Carol. When she was 82, she was writing her autobiography and wrote nice things about her high school sweetheart. Well, Harry was still around, he got in touch, and the pair got married that year. She and Harry spent the next seven years together until he passed away. Carol died in 2019, aged 97, just a few years after sending this message to Bob the Drag Queen. Thank you, Bob, for your <laughs> colourful impersonation of me. I'm so honoured to be a part of your history. Oh, I'm proud of that. Carol Channing, Pandora Box and Bob the Drag Queen, we salute you. And that is that for now. If you'd like to get in touch, I'm on Twitter at the Rory John. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do share it around. Um, thank you. <laughs> Bye.